Christ do too. How did I do? Did I do good? Yeah. Thank you. That's my daughter, Brianna, filming me doing my workout today. So I just want to share an important lesson that, that I learned that I think sometimes we all need to look at a little bit. And that was the last time I was doing this workout. I was doing heavy straight leg deadlifts. And I was a little bit tired going in. And because uh, I had done heavy loaded front squats like I did today before. And I was a little bit tired and on my last set, I felt on my left side, my left leg, I didn't feel my hips turning on as much. Kind of muscled through the last couple reps in the set. And I felt my hamstring going crazy on my left leg. And then right after that, a couple hours later, my low back started tightening up. And then by the next day, I mean, I was really super stiff, super sore, my low back, and uh, just wasn't fun. It was like three days, just totally tightened up on me. And, uh, you know, this is one of those things. I see a lot of guys who, you know, they, they want to train hard, they want to lift heavy, and um, they, you know, they, they get a setback, like a shoulder starts hurting, or, you know, they, uh, they have like a lower back issue, right? Or, or you know, they... They, uh, their knees start to hurt after they squat or something like that. And then, you know, it's really easy to start thinking, well, you know, I, I shouldn't lift heavy anymore or I shouldn't really train hard anymore because it's, it's bad for my joints. It's bad for my back. It's bad for my knees, right? I could have easily looked at that and thought, man, you know, I'm, I'm 41 years old now. I shouldn't be lifting that heavy. It's not, it's not good for me, right? My, maybe my back's not the same as it used to. Maybe I'm just uh, a little too old to be doing that kind of stuff anymore. But you know what? We start looking at things a little bit differently. See, the, the one thing that I know is that most of the time that these things happen, almost every time, it's actually not because the exercise itself is bad for us. See, it wasn't the exercise that was bad for me at all. That's not why my back tightened up. It was the fact that I, I was going in tired and I wasn't using the right muscles to lift the load that I needed. So when you're not using the right muscles, guess what happens? Well, other areas start to compensate. So my hips were really tired that day, and then I felt it right away. My hamstrings started to really cramp up on me during that last set, and then my low back ended up having to pull the weight up and finish that lift out. See, it wasn't the lift that was bad for me. It wasn't because I was lifting heavy. It was simply just a recruitment issue, and that's most of the things that happen. It's not the exercises that we're doing that are bad for us. Our bodies aren't meant to be racked up with nagging aches and pains and injuries just because we get older. I have yet to see a sign up in the sky and the clouds part and I hear a mysterious voice or see a sign that said, now that I'm over 40, I can't lift heavy anymore. I can't be athletic anymore. I can't do the things that I used to do anymore. I have yet to see that sign. And we're not meant to be banged up like that. We're not meant to be hurting and injured like that all the time. So the majority of the time, it's not the exercises, it's not the activities, it's not the sports, it's not those things that are bad for us. It's just simply a lack of conditioning sometimes or awareness on our part on how to perform the exercises safely and effectively that that is. So knowing that, all I did was I spent three days really stretching things out. I spent three days really uh, taking in some healthy fats, things to calm down the inflammation, make sure that I was really taking care of myself. I was doing some uh, core conditioning kind of exercises to get things balanced out, loosen back up and get me feeling good again. Within three days, I was feeling great again. And here I am, not even a week later, right back on it. No pain, no problems going on or anything. I feel absolutely great. So again, you know, don't let age stand in your way of doing the things that you want to do. Don't let age stand in the way of you training harder, you working to perform your best, you getting out there and, and going running if you feel like it or playing those sports that you want to. Because it's not age. It's not the age. That's not a reason. Don't let the age be your limit. Train to do what you want to do. Train hard, train correctly, and train to do what you want to do.